That's a very old, nice set of rolls. I used to use a set like that to put in my old job. Anyway, hello people. We're on a nice little walk today. Going all the way down here on these little footpaths. And we're going somewhere that I used to go to when I was a little little kid. So we'll see when we get there. Can you hear the uh, the electric lines, the power lines buzzing? Because it's raining at the moment. I don't know whether you can tell. I think some probably spitting on the camera. Don't know whether this little camera will pick them up or not. It might think that it's noise and get rid of it. But they're going buzzed. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so. It's a lot more overgrown now than I remember. As a kid, I might perhaps we can get round the other side, it might not be as bad. But this is uh, a lake, and it goes all the way around there. We'll go around there. We used to go that way, but that's a lot more overgrown now. And I've only got, I've only got trainers and shorts on, you see. But it used to be sort of over there. I might still be able to get there, but I don't remember. All of that used to just be like, like this, and used to sit there, over there somewhere. But anyway, um, yeah, and we used to fish in this lake. It's called Banana Lake because it's shaped like a banana. And uh, let's go around here. Look, it's a bit more walkable around here. And so, yeah, you can see as it goes around there now. And uh, we used to sit on the other side, as I said, by where that duck is and those trees over there. And there's also a little <laughs> pontoon that you can uh, sit on if you want. But yeah. This is where we used to come. And there's a couple of lake ponds up the top there. They feed this one. There's one on the left with a makeshift bench next to it, um, which would be good for a quick shag if you wanted to, you know, if you had a girlfriend and you went there. Anyway, that one feeds the next pond. And then that all runs down and feeds this pond here. And uh, it's called Banana Lake. We used to come here as a kid and fish with my mum, dad, brother and uncle quite often. But uh haven't been here for well years, fifteen years or so. And it's uh pretty much the same, just a bit more overgrown and a bit more wetter as it's now pissing down. Yeah, hundred percent definitely uh it's a lot more overgrown than what it used to be because I can remember this used to just be like low grass like this and we used to sit on the other side and sometimes if I'd get a bit bored I'd, I'd run around I'd run all the way around here and I'd run around the other side Ah, just for fun, you know. I might run around the other side and look over and go, hello, to everybody. Um, but yeah, so this is a lot more overgrown. That's was a shame, because I was hoping to get to that platform, um, to the little pontoon sitting there. You can kind of walk out where you could. Now, it looks like you still can. And I, I used to sit underneath that tree there. I used to sit under there and fish. You know? Uh, yeah, very nice. There's a lot of uh, geese out there. I don't know whether you can see them or not. Can you see them? I think you should be able to see them on the floor. Gooses.
you see all of this type of stuff all of this type of land that's what it's all about and you know this modern day age of building a lot of houses and concrete buildings it's a bit of a I don't know man it's ruining it all really I think because it won't be long before we haven't got anything like this anymore and all this will be gone and uh, won't have any nice walks to walk along won't have any fields, grass ponds in the middle of nowhere it's taken me a good hour to walk around here get down here now when there's all houses everywhere none of that will be here I should imagine they'll probably build houses on all of this eventually and I know some of you some of you are going to say no they won't they're not allowed to they're not allowed to build houses on that land well let me tell you all right they might not be allowed to now but when loads more people arrive so to speak and they say we haven't got enough houses again they'll just go oh remember that bit of land we said you couldn't build houses on well you can build houses right now because um, we need the houses so that's what will happen unfortunately and uh, yeah, there's not a lot left in this part of the country there'll be some of you that live in Norfolk, Devon and Wales and probably parts of Ireland where places like this are everywhere and you don't realize how bad it is in other places but it is getting bad man it is getting bad too many houses but there you go too many houses and too many concrete warehouses like over there I think I could I could do without them a lot of people say oh we wouldn't be able to do without them but I could try and get through this without getting me um my legs stung on that stinging nettle. Oh. Lovely. Ah. Yeah, people say to me all the time, actually, <laughs> when um, if this topic comes up and I say, oh, there's too many warehouses now, there's too many industrial estates. And they go, oh, excuse me. And they go, um, all those are for Amazon and the other things for online shopping. And I bet you use online shopping. Yeah, I do use online shopping, yeah. And they say, well then, so don't moan about the warehouses. I say, well, I can do without online shopping, no? I use it, yeah, because it's there. If something's there, why not use it but I could do without it definitely if there was no Amazon where you could order stuff and get it the next day or the same day or just order stuff in general I'd be alright I'd go down the shop and buy it or if it was something that I couldn't get in a shop local and it had to come from somewhere far away or another country but Amazon had got it don't matter I just wouldn't get that thing or I'd maybe try and get it some other way through contacts like you used to in the old days if you wanted something from America you'd find somebody in America to send it to you there's many ways so we could definitely do about it yeah, I thought I'd come and have a look at that because um, my, the work for me is going to be drying up in this area fairly soon. Well, finishing, so 
um, I'm only in this area while the work's here and then I'll be moving on so I thought I'd come and have a look and then I'll move on and uh, won't get the chance to come back again see I usually go and explore where I'm working so if I'm working in a particular area, I'll go and explore that area. It just so happens that I'm working in an area um, where I used to come when I was a kid. So got cobwebs all over me again. Cobwebs in my eyes. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that was a lovely old walk. Um, all the way down there. That's lovely sort of marshland that is. See, they weren't allowed to build on the marshland, but they did. They built all the warehouses and that there and everything, all the other bollocks. So yeah, you know what? The, the country's becoming a country of concrete, unfortunately. Um, and it, but it is the way that it is. I mean, nothing we can do about it. It's just um, you know governments and rich developers um, wanting to do that. Uh, you know, we don't need more houses. But hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. None of this sort of land will get built on, and it will just stay as it is because it's wonderful. You know, wildlife and all of that. And uh, we need the wildlife for the world to happen. Without wildlife, the world don't happen. So, but it is nice having a walk down there, man. It's, oh, it used to be nowhere near as overgrown as that. But of course, I'm not complaining about it. Some of you probably think, well, he's complaining about it being overgrown. Or, no, no, no. I'm just pointing out that it used to be, obviously it did grow up, it probably died down again. But um, I, my memories of it are of it being less overgrown and you could walk all the way around it. Uh, probably could walk around it now, but I didn't want to walk around it in my trainers and shorts because there might be adders in there, grass snakes, and I don't want to get one of them stuck on my leg. Um, not today, anyway. Uh, don't really want to have an adder stuck on my leg today, thank you. Uh, maybe another day, but not today. Um, yeah, man, so let's go and have a little drive. Uh, that might be it, I don't know. We'll see what else I find on my little journey to work. Anyway, you lot. It's been a good old day, that was this morning I went out, it's been raining all day, it's been a good day though. It was a nice walk this morning, we're in the rain, uh, so we've got another couple of walks in the next couple of days. There's some CB radio videos coming up, you lot of CB radio, if you like CB radio, you know, stick around, subscribe, I'll do whatever you want to do, and uh, there'll be some CB radio videos coming up. I've got one filmed already, and I'm going to film another one, maybe tonight. So um, I'll catch you on the next one. You lot, all the best. Thanks for watching, and see you later, alligator. <laughs>